Hey, so what's up everybody? We got another video today. Uh, here we have the... Alright, ah, big bite. Good work. Great size, Yes, you can call it potential, allegedly, supposedly. Uh, what the front end of a S650 going to be? So first off, it's going to be obviously the picture that it was done by FordAuthority.com. That's the first place I've seen it show up. It looks like they combine the shape of the front grill of the current 550. On the bottom, on the corner is where it's supposed to have like fog lights or turn signals. Um, that's kind of reminds me of a Mac 1 kind of ish GT500. It doesn't look bad on the corners, obviously, because we currently have something like that already. Uh, but then you look up to the corners, to the headlights. Those remind me a little bit of the Maki, kind of like the SUVs. Um, I don't know why I keep trying to think of saying like a Fusion, but um, it looks like it has triple LEDs. Like I mean, it still has the shape of the 550 in a way right there. It's just with a, a few extra LEDs. Or but Yeah, that front end. Eh, if you, everybody remembers, I mean, when the, what is it, the 550 came out a few years ago. I mean, I remember seeing it in first person and I didn't like it. Look at me now, I own one. Um, same thing when, you know, it went from the... What is it? The new edge, if, if you want to call it that, or as everybody says, it's a SN95. Anyways, new edge uh, went to the other one, the S197. You know, everybody hated it. You know, after the few years of that one, it changed again, and it went into a what, like a 09 to 10 somewhere in there, was it? Anyways, I know they changed so many times in the. That's one I said. You know, everybody hated it. Everybody hates it at first, but then after they out for a little while, you know, somebody tries to go in and try to see what it looks like. It kind of like, you know, it starts to get more comfortable. So right now we're looking at the new one, which is now, you know, going to be the, the 650. It's supposed to be all new platform and everything. And well, here we have a few more stuff you know ford is known to throw out stuff and like makes it look real obviously because they're concepts and then you know they change so it is what it is but at the same time you know it gives you an idea of what they're thinking of doing of what it could be you know there might be changes obviously they're going to be changes if, if it was the final uh revision you already see it at a auto show interior has been spotted obviously for a couple of days or so and the steering wheel is not too bad the steering wheel is, it, it's a little bit modified from the current one it's got the flat bottom obviously you know you're still going to get that that new uh feel of the digital cluster because it's cluster that looks like it's blended in with the uh infotainment the radio so it looks like all of that is one piece if you look at one of the pictures, you know, you have digital dash. If you're familiar with that, you know, I, I would love to have a digital dash on my 550, but you know, they're, they're not cheap to add on to it. If you buy one and it comes with it, you know, keep it. We have the AC vents. They're not rounded. They're squared off um, towards the middle of the center console underneath the radio, underneath the infotainment. So that's, you know, it doesn't look like you can turn them or anything like that, like the current one, that you can literally turn it in a circle. You know, it's just basic, you know, left, right, up and down, you know. So uh, what else we can see? Uh, the controls in the steering wheel 
um it, it looks like they're trying to add a ton into it better you know for you to not keep moving your eyes from the from the road so it's, it's a plus all the extra shortcuts um when you come over here to the to underneath the ac vents you have it used to be toggle you used to push them up now it looks like you're just gonna push a button or push it down something like that you now you have the the iconic auto start that thing let me just say that i hate it um my my mom has a vehicle that has the auto start I, uh, a friend of mine had a jeep wrangler with it i mean not pointless i know what they're trying to do you know save miles per gallon pollution da 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 but at the same time it's like another electronic feature to potentially you know fail pretty soon and then what you know it happened on my on my mom's vehicle on her uh jeep compass i think it is like a 19 2020 that thing like at freezing temperatures when we have this snowstorm coming in in here like it dropped like really really cold here for us in the south and that thing was acting up that thing was acting up. it would not work which is fine you know it's fine I didn't care for it but he gave you a, a a little Christmas light on the dash and my mom I mean she don't know what was going on she freaked out dude and she was calling me like what's wrong it's my check engine line or what's wrong do I need to like re replace my vehicle I was like no that's just the auto start certain people that are not gonna care for it like you should get the ability to option that off I mean, I know a bunch of vehicles are going to be made already for you to just go in and buy them and go versus, you know, order one in. But if you're able to order your Mustang, you should be able to option that off. Here we see that the button is there. Like, it's there. Like, it's going to be there. I don't know about that. That's just me. I don't know about that. I wouldn't order one if it's going to have the auto start. I would not. Because all you're going to have to do is just one more thing that you have to do to press and push every single time you get in the vehicle you know that's just no bueno for me uh, on the looks on the steer wise the car looks not too bad I mean, if it looks like that eh, it's gonna be okay if it stays like that um it's gonna give you that luxury look of electronic like you know the evs are here but as long as they keep it with a motor I think it should be fine as long as it's a V8, it should be fine. Even if it comes with the EcoBoost, as long as the high output, I mean, it'll be fine. I mean, I know I'm gonna get everybody just oh EcoBoost, blah blah blah, it sucks. Look, I came from a V6 platform. This is how I started my channel. They're pretty good. They make power. You know, obviously, you know, displacement, da 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 da. But at the same time, I mean, they make power. To a point, obviously, to a point, but still, they make power, um, uh, just like a NA V8 would be. You know, you, you got your ups and downs on it. I mean, I, I didn't mind it when I had mine. But at the same time, I'm not going to get into this for that, but that's another video. Um, uh, so if they offer that on the Mustang, which is a probably wheel, that'd be fine. I mean, a hybrid-ish, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Other than that, um, I think the looks of it, if it stays like that, it still looks like a 550, just a little bit tweaked. Uh, looks from the size that it's still going to look the same from the size, like looking at it at an angle, it's going to look the same. Uh, interior wise, you know, like I said, you got the auto start is the main thing that I saw that it, it's way like triple thumbs down. Like, I don't want that. Uh, hopefully you're able to option that if you're gonna be ordering one like to your specific needs um if you, if you go to the dealership obviously it's probably gonna have it uh we'll know more uh on that coming soon whether or not you're gonna be able to option it or if it's not gonna come or whatever uh the digital dash like i said is a plus you know it, it's a little bit different than the current digital dash so that's gonna be different that's gonna be good um like i said it looks like it's blended in with infotainment with the radio so that's gonna be neat to see uh obviously the seats look to me to be the same 
um, the steering wheel, like I mentioned earlier already, the steering wheel already has the the flat bottom, so that's a plus. As long as it stays like that, that's gonna be great for everybody that you know goes up and down on the trim because you're just gonna have a a nice sporty uh, steering wheel with a flat bottom. You know, it looks really nice. The other thing that I saw was the rest of the stuff. You know, next to the auto start, you know, you're still gonna have your it's gonna have the traction control off, so it's still gonna be you're gonna have the, the the your push start, you know, with all your other buttons, you know, your traction control. There's a pony symbol button that um I don't know that could be your modes, you know, your your sport, your track, your snow and wet mode. Uh, you know, that to me seems like it's going to be that pony button right there. There's going to be a lot of technology in there that um, I'm going to be excited about to see and to see what you can do and all this stuff and the little features that it's going to have. Um, you know, that's going to be neat to to see what else they, they're going to implement in there. Next to that, you have your radio control. Looks like your little knobs that look similar to what we have. Um, I don't see anything that uh, says for your... For your valves for your exhaust so assuming it's probably going to be on the digital cluster you're going to have to go probably go into one of the modes and like maybe you can pick your like how the the my color is you know you have a specific color that you like and you just press my color setting one two and three maybe there's going to be something like that for you that you may be able to attach it to that pony emblem you know, maybe you'll be able to, okay, your custom one is for this, for uh, your sport with this kind of exhaust setting. You know, maybe it will be something like that. You know, that would be nice to to go through, you know, if you're able to, to do something like that. Um, that would be neat. Um, I didn't think about that earlier. But, you know, if they can implement the two to that pony, that would be, that'd be sweet where you can just go to your, that pony emblem is your personal custom stuff versus what they chose for you. So maybe maybe that will be something that they're going to be doing, you know, because I don't see anything down there that shows for your exhaust tone. So comment below what you think about that. What do you think that pony emblem is going to be? And what's your thoughts on the auto start? You know, to me, I don't I don't care for it. Um, it's just one more thing, like I said, that I'm going to have to press if I was to get one of the 650s and every time I went in the vehicle, you know, we'll have to see what in everything else entails and see what else, you know, they're going to come up and hopefully, hopefully that, that auto star is not going to be there. I'm, I'm excited to see all these pictures and all these news coming out with the, with the vehicle, um, Obviously, none of this has been confirmed. Like, I can't confirm anything other than what we're seeing here in the article and uh, on the pages out there on Facebook and everything else. You know, the actual product may be, be different. Hopefully, you know, when they release it, hopefully, four will release it soon. The actual final vehicle. So, comment below if you have any info on anything else that uh, I haven't posted on this video. We're going to keep up with everything and we will see where the next few days and the next coming weeks takes us with the 650 coming up. Don't forget to comment, like, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. We're going to be coming up with more videos like this following the 650 future and we will see you soon. Peace.